from Tyr's poor statue. Iron peace, not a golden war. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact.
encountered these Norns? Not personally. Freya's right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. He wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. Freya, do you mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the world serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. The sisters of fate abuse their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Aye, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience.
Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
right area, but we can't go further on the sled. Quiet. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of Tyr's statue all over the lake. <laughs> I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> We will see soon enough. giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother, I know that sword hilt. 
Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. Let's keep looking. This way. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. Now's no time to wander off, brother. Freya's found something. Opnar. There's nothing here. A false trail. I'm afraid so. We'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm. your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. I see something. An abandoned camp. Whoever was here left long ago. What did you find? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? Let's take a look at the ingredients. Perhaps the recipe will lead us to them. Do they match the ones in that recipe book you found? 
I imagine we might find one of those ingredients <coughs> around here. She's still incorporeal, ever since Kratos set her free of her corrupted form. But she hasn't let that stop her from helping any way she can. The truth is, I owe her more than I can repay. I doubt she'd see it that way. When we freed her, she could speak of little else but her reverence for you. Seeing you yourself again would surely be payment enough. statue wish for peace be ready for war oh that's astute of the air tyr never sought war but he knew he had to be ready for it aye best be armed than not impressive looking weapon isn't it it is big
Freya, you mentioned that Thimblewinter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Seeker who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? <laughs> oh, I suppose that is where I have it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? <laughs> I'm no longer sure what to do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place I guessed? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But help me just the same. How strange. I've never seen that building before. Aye. Very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. It's another piece of Tyr's likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. Oh! 
done. Now we just need to open the gate. Oh, sure. Mamir, does this look like an abandoned treasure? Aye, it does. It's Seagrin's family crest. Looks like a vault door to me. That key we found in another part of Seagrin's kingdom. Think it'll unlock it? Not when it's broken in two. Then let us find the other half.
I'm a giant. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. The giants called me... Loki? A question for another day. <laughs> 